Hello everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft. So, I was thinking, you know, I keep talking about my old worlds. I keep mentioning them, but I've never shown them. So I went through all of my files, and I found my old worlds. What we're looking at right now is a chunk, or three or four or five. Let me turn off clouds here. Uh, I generally don't turn off clouds. So how do I turn off clouds? Right there. There we go. So where that cut is, all the way along there, all the way around there, that was all part of my first Minecraft world. It was my single player Minecraft world. And I wanted to keep it when I started a new world on a server, but didn't know at the time how to transfer from single player to the server. So I eventually I started this world, all that you see, and came on, started doing stuff, learned about MC Edit, and brought in my castle. So let's do a quick look on my castle. So we've got uh, a few things. This this was run on a bucket server, so there's going to be some things that just don't work. Like my obsidian door. Yeah, that ain't going to work. So we'll come in here. Let's show you the mechanism for that. So this is part of it. Uh, did this go anywhere? This did not go anywhere. This is just a catacombs of crap. So, yeah, here it is. So, this is just a standard, you know, RS Norlatch with delay. It's extremely convoluted. But that was one of the, oh, that was one of the mods. It allowed us to have doors out of pretty much anything we wanted. Um, oh, glitchy uh, repeaters. I was big on lava lighting. This was a protection system. Because water liked to flow down here for various reasons. This I put in here when... Uh, 1.8 came out, or actually just before 1.8 came out. Just spawners. The chickens. Oh, those are sheep. Never mind. Why do I have sheep in here? I don't know why the hell I've got things. So, you know, I've got my cows. They were a bunch of pigs, but cows started dropping beef at that time. So, whoop, whoop. Doo -doo. didn't see anything. So they would just fall down, cook, and die. So, lots of food. Lots of leather. Eh. It was kind of stupid. Um. So these were my penis towers. This really is the first thing I built. This, uh, was the first time I ever went from... Bedrock to Skybox, or Skybox to Bedrock, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this goes all the way down. I built it. I don't know why I built it, but I built it. Uh, that's just a hole. And... Jesus, move so slow in this. This was when they first brought out glass panes built myself these lava lights. When does, does this door even work? It does. Do I still have the access? I do. So this is my doorway. It's my hidden doorway. So yeah, <laughs> it's uh, again, pretty bad wiring. This was part of the mountain. Oops. And this is my roof. This was my nice little uh, tree farm area. 
my treasure chests. These used to be flush. <laughs> this is how old this is. Uh, that's my mine. It doesn't really go anywhere. Like, that's pretty much it for my castle. Like, that's... Oh, I should show you my back door. This is my back door. Does it even work? It still works. Excellent. Ooh, I have a bucket. This, I thought was cool. I'm glad that that still works, though. I need water. The hell? Go away. Get in there. And then you fill it in. It was really quite cool. I really liked this. And you go through. And you make it through. All the wiring for that is down here. Two levels of wiring and a glitchy fucking boat. Interesting. Well, at least I know that that still works. And that is good to know. So yeah, this is... Oh, I should show you my bedroom. Oh, yeah. We had a mod on here, a bucket plug-in, that if you had lava underneath the furnaces, the furnaces would continue to work up to, I think it was four high. So this was my little pathway. This is my bedroom. This was a teleporter to the portal room, which is not accessible anymore. That's the door we came in. And this is my portal, which leads to apparently nothing. All right. Thought I had done something in there, but oh, <laughs> yeah. OK. Far too close. All right, well, this is the <laughs> where I started working on my second part. Let me set the time here. Damn you. Damn you all to batteries. There. So yeah, this was supposed to be a castle. That's what this was going to be. I was flattening it out completely to build a castle. It never happened. And I made a very nice dark area. Tried to light it up. It didn't do so shit hot. This was not my uh, best achievement. And again, we've got a gate which is the fences. This would block itself off. So nothing spectacular here. That was just a massive tree that I wanted to keep. Uh, this was a cauldron thing. Uh, you put different blocks on and it would transmute them into different things. And my bedroom over here with the infamous chest glitches but this was uh, yeah this was my first mob system I based it off of ethos design so this here was the passive mob breeder this has gone through many iterations very many iterations and just kind of well, it broke shortly after I built it because they patched that. Or more so changed it. But this, this was my little killer. They would drown in there. This is just a pool of water. Infinite water source. Like, oop. Yeah, they would come up there and they would drown. Go down here. Now, one thing we did have on this is we utilized a fly mod. So, things were flight. Flighty. So, this is a, just a two-spawn chamber room. 
Um, what do I have down here? It is so friggin' dark. Oop. Yeah, this is another two chamber room. I'm gonna jump my brightness up. Where's video? Crank that. Not that that's probably gonna help much. Let's get rid of you. And grab some torches. There. So yeah, both the bottom and the layer above are the same. And they would just flow in there. I got that from good old Etho. Back in his alpha world. And I've kind of stuck with that design for my mob systems. It's really what I've liked. It's a good one, to be honest. And then, let's go over this way. And we will show you the Steffer 11's little place. This is her first place in Minecraft. This is what she would do. She built this massive wall. I don't know why she built the wall, but she built the wall. She ripped out, she gutted the entire mountain and replaced it with glass. This is kind of her style. She's got oh, some water. <laughs> her lighthouse, which... I remember it looking a lot better than this. No offense, Steph. I, I used to make fun of it. <laughs> so. But yeah, she made this lighthouse with the little house out in front. Oh... Another, another indication of how old this thing is. The backwards doors. But yeah, this was... She did a good job on these. Her, f her first thing. Eh? Yeah, those guys are sideways. Like, looks really good. Oh, there's her gate. Uh, let's see if we can go in here and not get lost. She had some hidden door thing. Oh, yeah. This was where I helped her with her tunneling. A little bit. Oh, yeah. Her door was over here. This is exact same design that I had. Except it has a T flip-flop. And then you come over here to her bedroom. And this is blocked off. Why is that blocked off? She must have blocked that off fairly recently. Or, shouldn't say fairly recently. We haven't been playing on this one for years. 1.8 was when we stopped this. And then we started the other world in 1.9, or in 1.8, I think. And then we went to 1.9 with the current world. <laughs> wow. Anyway, she built this track. I never quite understood the track, but she built the track. This is one of my personal favorites. This is the Queen Steffer. She likes her pools. The pool. Please, no diving. She doesn't even have a diving board. You know, she's got a nice uh, square table. And then the cabins. You know, they're all the same. All beds. She's really good at doing the interiors, interiors of stuff. And her castle, which I don't think she's got a whole lot in. 
And again, we've got an obsidian door. Where does this all lead? Oh, yeah, she's got her hidden door that doesn't work anymore. Yep. It is broke dick. Very broke. Very, very broke. So this is very reminiscent of her sand castle. Let's go up here. Only more proportional. And I think this is kind of what she... This is kind of her building style. Only she uses different blocks now. You know, it's pure cobble and glowstone. Hmm. Not the best choice. Her log cabin, one of many, actually. It's kind of neat looking at some of this stuff. Looking at things that have been built. Like, I have never been a big builder. And Steph has always been a catacombs kind of girl. She's a digger. Like, <laughs> random chest. Random mountain of cobble. Just, just random. There's a cave back here. Yep. I can tell. I know the Steffer style. To the cabin. To the boat. Slash brick. Brick. What brick? And what do we got? Got a ladder and a tunnel. To the boat. To the cabin. To the castle. So that goes up to the castle. And this goes... To the boat. And we are in the boat. Uh, she had another log cabin. I know she did. Oh, is it that? No. It's not log. I'm relatively certain that she had another cabin. And this is just the place that goes down. Probably back into that tunnel. I was sure she built another one. Maybe it's way the hell over there. Oh, random nether portal. I got so friggin' lost in this world. It's just ridiculous. Uh, the dirt bridge that's over there. you definitely seen it. That was our way of connecting to the different areas. But this... My, this was when the nether was fairly new. And it was really, really glitched up in multiplayer. And yeah, it brought me over there from my flat area. It's just really weird. This is the land of sea. This was a guy I went to school with. He used to, he played Minecraft, let him on the server. And he built this boat. And I believe that was me. I turned one of his C's into a G. I don't remember, but I'm assuming it was because it seems like something I would do. But yeah, he built a boat on a whole fuck ton of C's and this house, which I don't even know how to get in. No. Oh. Cobble roof. Inception chest. <laughs> Rare shit. Eh. Not really. Blocks. He's a weird guy. Very, very weird guy. Oh, 
Drippy lava. Drippy, drippy lava. So this is as far this way as we went. So we will fly back over Steph's place. And there's the dirt tower. I use that to connect all of our stuff. And here's Steph's other log cabin. I don't think this really has anything. Oh, it does have a pathway down into her catacombs. This goes down. I'm not going to go there. It's just a tunnel to everything else. But I have to say, she had a wonderful view. <clears throat> that was just ridiculous. That was a dumb idea. Oh, and that was the first thing she built. That is Steffer Tower. Glass, cobble, and dirt. So beautiful. Then there's my dirt tower. Basically, it goes that way, connects, and I've got a railway going along. And it connects my flat area all the way to my new area. This here was another person that used to go to school with us. He built... We all have fly on this. This was before creative mode existed. So, he built a cobblestone generator because Whoopterson over there and him decided that they were going to have a cobblestone generator war. Who could build the most? I had to shut them down. They, they were running them and they didn't have any way of destroying the entities like they do here. They finally got one, but it was also producing so many per second that it was just lagging the server like a bitch that goes down to his mine shaft I think he was derping around with TNT here this is his elevator which doesn't work anymore like, it looks like it works watch it work yeah it just pushes me out so yeah that doesn't work anymore but it would bring you in here, and he had this set up to kill you. Uh, in here is some lava. Well, let's, let's actually go inside. Oh. The lava's flowing. Yeah, it, it'd be broke. It'd be broke. So we can't really go inside because it'd be broke. I don't think he ever actually finished it either. So this is his wiring in here. Kind of sloppy, but, you know, none of us were really good with you know, redstone at the time. And, of course, redstone update. Kind of derped it. And then he built this. This is... I don't know why he built this. I don't think he knows why he built this. But it just goes up. And then down. <laughs> yep. That's it. That's what it does. Don't know. And then he built this. He was a, He's a gun nut. So he built a revolver in Minecraft. And I worked on rigging it up to function. Uh, I can't show you that because it was in the creative world. We had multiple worlds on here and we could teleport to the creative world where I had copied this and turned it into a TNT cannon. And it worked fairly well actually. Um, 
this here, I think was when Etho first introduced his Holly Pops. Woopterson had this wonderful idea to put a Holly Pop made entirely out of TNT right here, right between there and his base. So yeah, we kind of encased this part in obsidian so that it would just blast towards him. Uh, it actually took out some stuff over here. I think it took out some of this. Uh, he was going to, with this, he was going to try to basically copy Etho's uh, original storage room. I remember him saying that. But he was going to do it, he was going to do it differently. I don't remember what the whole details were, but he was inspired by Etho's thing. And this is his cobblestone generator. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't work simply because these all hinged on one thing. I had a mod that every time a block was pushed over water by a piston, it would break. So, these don't work anymore. Um, oh yeah, his first tower. Like, he spawned... Uh, I think I actually set the spawn point to be right here. I don't really remember, but he spawned and he came over here. This is kind of the separation between the old, old chunk and the new world. So, and he came in here and he was digging stuff out. He didn't light anything up. He refused to light anything up or he didn't know to light things up. Sometimes portals but then I got better. Oh god. Oop. This was his portal to uh, the portal room. This just goes down. <laughs> he just dug, built a glowstone arrow, and then built this. With his track that goes nowhere. And... <laughs> I don't, I, I don't understand this, but, you know, my job is not to understand. My job is but to show. So then, he's got this nice little observation deck. Bernie roof. He found nether rack and fire. So, yeah, he built this. I, I don't know if he had a name for it. But this works. Crazy Tower. That was his first nether portal. Uh, I don't know where he put the official nether portal. Did he put it? No, he just put pumpkins. This here. We had world edit, and I would go and I would, you know, take slices out of the world. If people wanted to build something large. Namely because the world height was only 128. This was supposed to be bigger. I don't know exactly what it is, aside from a sword. But it looks kind of neat. It needs more blocks. Man, this is taking a long time. I was hoping to be able to get both worlds done today, but... I don't know what he was building here. That was after the stone bricks, that's for sure. Oh, these are the mossy stone bricks. <laughs> I don't remember all the crap I had on here. Lots of obsidian. Uh, this is his cathedral. I actually think he should remake this, to be honest. I think I'm going to suggest that. He remake it on the new server. But, you know make it out of new blocks so that it looks a bit better. This was his 
his Hell's Cathedral. And he's got his portal here. Does he have anything on the other side? Nope. And it brought me back over here. Luckily, that was the last thing to show for Wooptersen. So now, oh, there's my cactus farm. That was our shop. I had economy and uh, sign shops or something. So people could buy stuff with different things. And of course, I didn't balance it very well. And Dweebish. Dweebish would exploit it. What the hell? And this was my cobble generator. This was the first cobblestone generator on the server. So, all it does, you got lava, water, and pistons. The pistons push the block out, retract. When the block gets pushed out, it breaks, turns into an item, flows over here. You come, you pick it up, you put it in a chest. Had lots of cobble. And we needed it for all the cobble crap we were building. Um, this was spawn. I forgot. This was spawn. And these were the protected chunks, so nobody could do anything here except for me. Because at the time, I was the only op. This is Dwebish's obsidian generator that he uses to this day. It's pretty simple. You know, lava up top, pistons blocking off the lava, water flowing in behind, and you put redstone on here. Like... Like, anya, flick it, lava comes down, turns to obsidian. Nothing too spectacular. Apparently this has turned into a snow biome. And this is my cart track. Abruptly ends. The plan was to take it down, but started a new server, so forget it. This used to be a mountain. And I was trying to make it into kind of a wizard's tower. I was just going to blast it out, but I went a little too um, crazy. Then had to build it back up and just turned into a box. And I was like, fuck it. But this... This is Dweebish's. Most of this was done legitimately. Most of it. The lava, I actually spawned in because he was going and getting it legitimately. And it was constantly, oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. And I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't watch it anymore. He kept burning himself alive. So I spawned him in a bunch of lava and let him go nuts. Uh, this was amusing because he blasted this all out with TNT and there was a mountain here that went up to here and when we blew it out hence giant crater it created our duck head oh the duck head with the tree <laughs> uh, I, I found one on the new server that was kind of like this, but it wasn't the same, so I never did anything with it. So this was his, or is his castle. It, it's insane, and it, it's hard to tell now because he's got this top part on, but if you cut off the top, it's a scrotum. Complete with one being smaller than the other. It is a frickin' scrotum. Uh, near the end of the server, the guys had access to world edit. So yeah, hence the diamond blocks and the gold. This is his symbol for this server. He was plastering this everywhere. 
uh, he it was based off of like the Eye of Ra, I think he said. His Stargate. He did a really good job on the Stargate. Unfortunately, it's mostly cheaty. It would have been too difficult to do fully legit. Uh, complete with a retractable bridge that no longer functions. But yeah, it was pretty good. Had to help him with the water because he couldn't uh, get the water right. Uh, squids. <laughs> uh, let's do... There's nothing really in there. It's... I think he's got a tree. Yeah. Oh no, he actually does have something in here. I don't know if you can get to it from in here or if it's just out. No. Maybe it's not in here. Well, let's go for a quick tour. So, these, pretty self-explanatory. They don't have anything except stairs going up and down. You know. Nothing spectacular. You got your viewports. It's typical castle fodder. But as he was building this, I was being a turd. And I flooded it. <laughs> I flooded the whole thing. And he was like, hey, I like that. I can build these spigots. So he built it two blocks higher. Uh, what a jerk. And then he built these fountains. Planted all these. It looks really good. It really does. I, I kind of wish it was less cobbly at this point, but at that time, I thought it was the best thing ever. And then he's got this. This goes to his storage chamber. And in here, I think, there we go, hidden doors, and then down here, if I can get down here, <laughs> he likes his lava, oh, there we go. He, he learnt that chests can't be burnt by lava, so he never put anything in them. But I think he's only got that one double chest in there. But it's still pretty cool. I helped him out with this wiring. Pretty good. Couldn't get the timings right. And I'm sure they're all mucked up now. More gating. This is simply the base to his tower outside. This took him a long friggin time to do. This was all legit. Like he harvested all of the glowstone. He got all of the nether rack or nether rack, whatever. Um, all the obsidian and all the lava all by himself. Fully legit. Nothing no to anything with the stuff. I apparently lost words there. That's his waterfall, which is all part of what I'm eventually going to get to. Uh, this... the hell is this? Oh yeah, that brings you up there. I'm not going to that yet. We're going to show the inside. His really long, windy tunnel for no apparent reason. And then his dining chamber. His other storage area. What do we got in here? Yeah, still got some lava. And this was his mine. Oh, what happened to the trap door that was here? I guess he ripped it off. So, this is the mine that he got lost in a whole hell of a lot. Oh yeah, we, we sliced this out. 
Void fog. No void fog. Oh, because I'm in creative mode, dumbass. Jesus. So yeah, you, you can definitely tell that we had fly. There's no way any of that would be feasible without some sort of mod. And so that, that was just a catacombs of crap. I don't think there was anything specific down there. The last thing, though... Oh, yeah, that was supposed to be his water curtain or lava curtain or something. He never did get that working. His Mayan temple, which was supposed to be his bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Perfectly safe, right? And then this just let down... Where'd this go? I don't remember half of this crap. I remember it, but I don't remember where a lot of it went. I seem to recall this being a lot darker, though. Oh, no. This was... This was the lit. Nothing there. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that painting was. <laughs> oh, wow. I remember this looking so much cooler. <laughs> this was his skeleton. Just bathing in the lava. It's chilling out. Soul sand. And... What do we got here? This is not the... Oh, this is not the door you are looking for. Move along. And... Where did he have the door? Oh, yeah. He had the door in one of these. Crap. Where was it? Oh, man. I cannot remember... How this worked. It actually seems like it's changed. Because I could have swore you could go through the eyes. Okay. There it goes. We'll just go in. The door... So this is where you would come down. And that was the water drop. And that was where the door was. But I don't remember how to activate it. He had a button somewhere that did that. And then you come up here and this was kind of a secret bedroom. Let's close that off. There. <laughs> no one will know. You come up here. Now you're in the head of the skull. You come out here to his living room. And another gate, his bedroom, and you come down here, and it's a teleporter, which of course no longer functions. So I have to find an alternate way out. You know what? Doesn't really matter. I'll just go up. Ta-da! <laughs> I made it out! Oh wow, he brought that way the hell over here. Yeah, he was really close. Let's 
So now, let's go here. Ah, we're gonna die. <laughs> and there's his symbol again. And you have four choices. This one. Okay, this was the one that led you out. You're probably not going to see very well. But. There we are. Just come out of the waterfall area. This water is not flowing right. There it goes. And um, this one. There was only one, I think, that would you would actually survive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His uh, lake of lava. We put this obsidian here. Like, the fall is enough to kill you. Or, sorry, no, we made it so that the fall was enough to do, to leave you with one heart. Or half a heart. And, of course, this was before the regeneration when you're full. So you were stuck down there. Except we all had fly, so it didn't matter. And this one... What did this one do? Fall down here. And what is this? Some torches now. Oh, this is the one I went through. Dang it. down. So this one was when I went down. That one I went down. That one I went down. And this one here. <laughs> Press here to get a free cake. Plunk. And you get a cake. And you die. <laughs> Except I don't die. The joy of creative mode. Bonk. Yeah. He's kind of ridiculous. This took quite a while for him to do. But it was really, really good. I kept trying to get him to make, like, an adventure map or something. Because he does really good things. And he has purposes for them. Uh, but, whatever. I think that that is about it. Everything else is just kind of trivial crap. Like, somewhere that way, there's a thousand block minecart track strictly to get that riding the rails achievement like that's it so there's not much else to show I hope you enjoyed and next time we will do the shortest server we have ever had but has actually got more stuff than this one so Thank you all for watching. We will see you next time. Take care.